subgenus Hippotigris, the jewel of the forest. Zebras. Hello and welcome to Z. Let's go to the jungle and look at life of zebras. Zebra is the common name for a variety of wild, horse-like odd-toed ungulates, order Perissodactyla, of the family Equity and the genus Equus that are native to eastern and southern Africa and are distinguished by striking white and black, or brown, stripes that vary in pattern. Horses, donkeys, the uncommon Asian species Prowalski's horse, and hemionids are also extant members of the Equus genus, Onager or Equus hemionus. There are four living zebra species. Plains zebra, Equus quagga, Grevy's zebra, Equus grevii, Cape Mountain zebra, Equus zebra, and Hartmann's mountain zebra are all species of zebra, Equus hartmanni. The Cape Mountain zebra and Hartmann's mountain zebra are sometimes confused. In reality, the term zebra refers to black and white striped members of the equity family rather than any single taxon. The genus Equus contains all extant members of the family, however the genus is typically divided into four subgenera, Equus, Asinus, Hippotigris, and Dolichohippus. Hippotigris includes the plains zebra and two mountain zebra species, but Dolichohippus includes only the grevy zebra. It is more closely related to Asses, Asinus, in many ways, whereas the other zebras are more closely linked to horses, Equus. Plains zebras and grevy zebras cohabit in some parts of Kenya. Zebras are ecologically important because they transform plant matter into biomass for huge predators. However, several anthropogenic influences, including skin harvesting and habitat damage, have had a significant impact on zebra populations. Grevy zebra and both mountain zebras are threatened, with the Cape Mountain Zebra nearly wiped out by the 1930s, when its population was less than 100 individuals, though it has since rebounded. While Plains Zebras are much more common, one subspecies, the Quagga, became extinct in the late 1800s. Species There are now four existing species of zebras, as well as multiple subspecies. Prior until 2004, there were three extant mountain zebra species, with the Cape Mountain Zebra, Equus Zebra Zebra, and Hartmann's Mountain Zebra, Equus Zebra Harmania, considered subspecies of the same species. C. P. Groves and C. H. Bell investigated the taxonomy of the genus Equus, subgenus Hippotigris, in 2004, and concluded that the Cape Mountain Zebra and Hartmann's Mountain Zebra are completely distinct, and that the two taxa are better classified as separate species, Equus Zebra and Equus Hartmanni. As a result, two separate species of Mountain Zebra are now widely recognized. The Plains Zebra, Equus quagga, and Grevy Zebra, Equus grevii, are the other zebra species. Zebra populations vary greatly, and the relationships and taxonomic status of several subspecies are well understood. Equus quagga burchellii, or Birchell Zebra, includes Damara Zebra. Equus quagga baini, Grant Zebra. Equus quagga borensis, the Celis Zebra. Equus quagga chapmani, Chapman's zebra. Equus quagga crochet, or crochet zebra. Equus zebra, Cape Mountain zebra. Equus hartmanni, or Hartmann's mountain zebra. Equus grevii, or grevy zebra. Zebra of the Plains. The Plains zebra, Equus quagga, originally Equus burchelli, often known as the common zebra or the Birchell's zebra, was once prevalent from the south of Ethiopia all the way to East Africa, as far south as Angola and eastern South Africa. 
Because of human activities such as hunting for its flesh and hide, as well as encroaching on much of its natural habitat, the plains zebra is much less common than it once was, but it is still common in game reserves. The quagga, an extinct subspecies of Equus quagga quagga, is included. Grevy the zebra. Grevy zebra, Equus grevii, sometimes known as the imperial zebra, is the largest species of zebra, with an upright mane and a long, narrow skull that gives it a mule-like appearance. It lives in the semi-arid grasslands of Ethiopia and northern Kenya. It is taller, has larger ears, and narrower stripes than other zebras. The species is named after Jules Grevy, a French president who was gifted one by the Abyssinian government in the 1880s. Grevy's zebra is distinct from all other zebras due to its basic traits and unique behavior. Grevy's zebra is one of the rarest zebra species in the planet, and it is listed as endangered. Zebra of the Cape Mountains the Cape Mountain Zebra, Equus Zebra, is located in South Africa's Southern Cape. They primarily consume grass, but if there is insufficient food, they will consume bushes. Groves and Bell discovered that the Cape Mountain Zebra has sexual dimorphism, with females being larger than males, whereas the Hartmann's Mountain Zebra does not. The Mountain Zebra of Hartmann Hartmann's mountain zebra can be found along Namibia's coast and in southern Angola. Hartmann's mountain zebras tend to live in groups of 7 to 12 people. They are agile climbers who can survive in desert environments and steep alpine terrain. Hartmann's mountain zebra has tiny black stripes with significantly wider white interspaces, whereas Cape mountain zebra has the opposite pattern. Although zebra species ranges overlap, they do not interbreed. This was true even when the Quagga and Birchall's Plains zebra shared the same territory. Grevy zebras have 46 chromosomes, Plains zebras have 44 chromosomes, and Mountain zebras have 32 chromosomes, according to McClintock and Machi, 1976. Plains zebras have been crossed with Mountain zebras in captivity. Apart from their enlarged ears and hindquarters pattern, the hybrid foals resembled plain zebras and lacked a dewlap. Miscarriage rates were significant when a grevy zebra stallion was bred to mountain zebra mares. Stripes Zebras are distinguished by black, or brown, and white stripes, as well as bellies with a huge white splotch, which appears to be for camouflage purposes, Gould 1983. The hair, not the skin, is colored, Wingert 1999. Based on the fact that, one, white equids would not survive well in the African plains or forests, two, the quagga, an extinct plains zebra subspecies, had the zebra striping pattern in the front of the animal but had a dark rump, and, three, Secondary stripes emerge when the area between the pigmented bands is too wide, as if suppression was weakening. It is hypothesized that zebras are fundamentally dark animals with areas where pigmentation, Wingert 1999. Because many animals of different colors have white or light-colored bellies, the fact that zebras have white bellies is not very strong evidence for a white background, Wingert 1999. The stripes are usually vertical on the head, neck, forequarters, and main body, with horizontal stripes on the back and legs. The term zebra crossing refers to the zebra's white and black stripes. The stripes, according to zoologists, serve as a camouflage technique. This is performed in a variety of ways, HSW. For starters, the vertical striping allows the zebra to blend in with the grass. While this may appear odd at first look given that grass is neither white nor black, it is said to be successful against the zebra's main predator, the colorblind lion. In theory, a lion might not see a zebra standing still in tall grass. Furthermore, because zebras are herd animals, the stripes may aid in the confusion of predators, a group of zebras standing or moving close together mixed together, making it more difficult for the lion to pick out a single zebra to attack. 
A herd of zebras scattering to avoid a predator will appear to that predator as a confused mass of vertical stripes traveling in multiple directions, making it difficult for the predator to visually track an individual as it separates from its herd mates, though biologists have never observed lions appearing confused by zebra stripes. Stripes are also thought to have a role in social relationships, with subtle changes in the pattern allowing the animals to tell one individual from another. Senses Zebras have binocular vision and superb eyesight. They are thought to be colorblind. The zebra, like most ungulates, has its eyes on the sides of its head, providing it a wide field of view. Although zebras have night vision, it is not as advanced as that of most of their predators. Zebras have excellent hearing and broader, rounder ears than horses. Zebras, like horses and other ungulates, can bend their ears practically anywhere. The zebra's mood can also be indicated by ear movement. When a zebra is in a good mood, its ears stand straight up. When it is scared, its ears protrude forward. When angered, the ears are drawn back. Zebras have a keen sense of smell and taste, in addition to vision and hearing. Ecology and Human Behavior Zebras live in a wide range of environments, including grasslands, savanna, forests, thorny scrublands, mountains, and coastal hills. Zebras, like horses, can walk, trot, canter, and gallop. They are normally slower than horses, but their incredible stamina allows them to outrun predators, particularly lions, who tire fast. When pursued, a zebra will zigzag from side to side, making the predator's job more difficult. When a zebra is cornered, it will rear up and kick its attacker. A zebra's kick can be lethal. Zebras will also bite their attackers. Foraging and food. Zebras are versatile grazers. They primarily eat grasses, but will also consume bushes, herbs, twigs, leaves, and bark. Plains zebras are pioneer grazers, eating early in well-vegetated areas. Other grazers arrive after the zebras have mowed down the area. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon.